Hey guys, Professional Popper, and today I'm going to be talking about how to create plus 35 skill enhancing attachments for your armor and clothing. The first thing you're going to need to do is get a combat character to level 90. He's going to have to get you money, he's going to farm your junk loot, and he's going to get your high level statted loot that you're going to need. While you're leveling your combat character and collecting your junk and statted loot, you also need to be logged on to your trader and completing the high quality resource collection. That's going to grant you the cybernetic deconstruction arm, which helps increase your reverse engineering chance. Speaking of reverse engineering chance, the two stats you're going to focus on are luck and reverse engineering chance. Another thing to keep in mind while you're collecting your statted loot is you're going to want loot that has stats above plus 22. This will save you time and resources in the long run. As well as that, you're going to want any loot that has three or more stats on it to upgrade your SEAs, but we'll talk about that later. And one more thing when you're collecting statted loot is you're going to want to collect pieces for what I call a poor man's crafting suit. This just means you're going to want to keep a whole set of armor that has the highest luck bonus you can find. And a quick side note before the next step is make sure that you fill out your expertise tree correctly so that you get the reverse engineering bonuses as well. And next we're going to go over all the buff items you'll need really. Uh, first off, you'll need a reverse engineering tool. I prefer that you get two of them so you can keep your junk loot stacked in one while you're doing your thing. You'll see why later. Next, you'll need some Denelian Fizz Pudding, which will increase your luck by quite a bit, around 200 if I remember correctly. And then Weapon, Armor, and Clothing Reverse Engineering Chance Power-Ups. Other than that, you need items that have sockets in them, and you'll need quite a few of them. I know it usually takes me around 20 attempts to get a 35 out of it, so go pick up a factory that corresponds with your class and then create the piece of armor that you want to enhance and keep creating it until you get a successful one that has a socket in it. Once you get one that has a socket in it, don't create the prototype but instead make it a manufacturing schematic and use it in your factory to create identical pieces of that armor with a socket. I forgot to mention, make sure your reverse engineering tool is maximum quality which should be 10 as well as getting the entertainer luck buff before you start creating your SEAs. I actually also forgot to mention one more buff item called Enhanced Styptic Powder that you get from the Chugandar Cube on Mustafar. It is a tiny bit expensive on the market sometimes. It's not break the bank expensive, but it is something you probably want if you're just starting to do this and don't have a full crafter set. So just buy it off the market, it'll be a lot easier than going to Mustafar and trying to find the correct spot to get the combination items. Before I get all buffed up and start crafting the 35s, I'm going to go over a few quick concepts. I apologize for my inventory being not organized at all. But anyways, first we're going to go over power bits. Your power bits are made from using the statted loot you found, which, oops, that is the wrong backpack. Don't worry about that one. The statted loot that you found that was 22 plus, so we have a 23 precision. I'm this is technically going to be a waste of resources since I'm not buffed up, but it's all for you guys. So throw that in your reverse engineering tool, hit reverse engineer, and it'll come out as a power bit of a certain order. You have first, second, and third. I will go over that later because it makes more sense when you're actually crafting and explaining at the same time. The next one we're going to go over is modifier bits. The modifier bits are made from using two pieces of junk loot in your reverse engineering tool. So I'll open this. As you can see, I have two pieces of junk loot. I'm actually going to take those out though because those are used to make luck bits and I actually need those. So I'm going to use two things I have a lot of. Let's see what this comes out as. Reverse engineer and it comes out as a two hand melee action. All right. Now, there's a website you can go to called SWG Junkyard, and it'll show you all the combinations to make whatever stat you're looking for. And on these modifier bits, you can see over here there's a power conversion ratio, and your power bits get divided by the power conversion ratio. So this is one, this is 23. If you made a skill attachment with it by opening your reverse engineering tool, putting the power bit in it and the agility modifier power conversion ratio of one and then hit create skill enhancing attachment it'll come out as a 23 
Now if you did it with the power conversion ratio of 10, it would have came out as a plus 2. Pretty basic, right? Okay guys, I'm back all buffed up. As you can see, let's look at some stats here. I have around 150 reverse engineering chance, 151 to be exact. And as far as stats go, I have around 1000 luck, which is where you want to be. The higher the better with both of those, obviously. And I forgot I wasn't recording, so I already went ahead and made my SEA to attach to a shirt. And as you can see, it came out as a 30, which is really good. And it was like two seconds ago, so you should know how to make the skill, skill enhancing attachment, right? So you do that and you drag it on top of the shirt. You come out with this and then open your empty reverse engineering tool, drag it in there, hit reverse engineer, and you come out with a, another power bit, hopefully of a higher power. Go ahead, make another one of your modifier bits, throw both of those in your tool, create the attachment, open a shirt, drag it onto the shirt. Yes, you would like to use them together. Throw the shirt back in, reverse engineer, and rinse and repeat until you have a 35. After I have both my first order and second order power bit, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your power bits into a third order. Okay, as you can see, I now have my 35 agility attachment, a strength modifier, a constitution modifier, and two more plus 35s. So what we're gonna do is open our empty tool real quick. We're gonna go ahead, take the agility clothing attachment and a 35 second order into it, along with whatever modifier bit you want. Once you have all of that in there, you hit reverse engineer, or sorry, you hit create skill enhancing attachment. It'll come out, you'll look at it, and it should have a 35 agility, 35 strength. Now here's where the weirder part comes in is making your third or you did it. Making your third order power bit. So what you're gonna do is take and make the SEA like you normally would. 35, constitution. I think that was the correct one right there. Create SEA, and you're gonna put it into a t-shirt or whatever item you're using really. So now it has the 35 constitution in it. You put that there, chow, and then you're gonna look for one of your pieces of loot that has three plus stats on it. So something like this, four works. Throw that in there as well. Go to your tool, hit reverse engineer, and you should come out with a 35 third order, which then you need to again, Go ahead, create the attachment. Was that the correct attachment? Let's see, agility strength. No, I need the constitution one. I forgot for a second which uh, set of things created a constitution modifier, I believe. I literally just looked at it and forgot again. It was differential regulator and survival gear. I do believe. So are you that? There we go, so there's the constitution modifier. So go ahead with the third order power bit throw both that, the constitution in there, oops, and the agility, or your uh, currently created SEA, and then hit the magical button, create skill enhancing attachment, ba -ba -bow! you have a max 35 set of stuff to go ahead and drop onto a shirt. So drop it on there. And there's your first 35, your second 35, whichever 35s you're on, maybe you just forgot. I don't know. I've been drinking a little bit on this last part. Don't judge me. Until next time, guys, have fun.